Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at another factoring technique, which is called a perfect square trinomial technique. This technique is very, very fast, assuming that you can train yourself to recognize when this technique is allowed. So, in your notebook, please put the subtitle for today, which is perfect square trinomial technique. Now, before we actually get into the factoring technique itself, I'd like to take us back to when we studied um, certain binomial identities. So I'd like you to skip a few lines, and I would look, like you to put down the following identity, the one involving a binomial being squared. So suppose I give you the binomial 2x plus 7 squared. Well, we learned that this identity produces the following result, 4x squared, and the term that everyone forgets, right in the middle, plus 28x plus 49. Just a reminder that the middle term comes from doing both terms in the binomial multiplied by each other, n times 2. So 2x times 7 gives 14x, and n times 2 gives 28x. You also had the negative version of this identity. So right next to this, I'd like you to put 2x minus 7 all squared. And we learned that this will result in the following. 4x squared minus 28x plus 49. Well, what's interesting is that if you can consider going forward as multiplying, Please do the same on the other side. Then we can consider that going backwards, the reversal is the factoring. Please do the same on the other side. So, the big question is, how do you recognize when this particular reversal or factoring is possible. Well, the trinomial that is produced by the multiplication going forward is a very, very special trinomial. This trinomial is called a perfect square trinomial. Well, what makes it a perfect square trinomial? I'd like you to skip a couple of lines and put 4x squared plus 28x plus 49 equals 2x plus 7 all squared. How can we recognize that we can, we can do that? Well, it's very easy. The 4x squared plus 28x plus 49 is known as a perfect square trinomial for two reasons. The first reason is very easy to detect. The first term and the third term are both perfect squares. This should be easy enough to detect. But the big question is, how do we deal with that middle term? Well, it's very easy, actually. But it does involve a bit of legwork. Here's how you do it. The first thing you do is you take the two terms that are perfect squares. So the first one and the third one. So let's take the 4x squared. Under this, I would like you to put 4x squared. And I would like you to square root the whole thing. You should know that by now that that produces 2x. I would like you to do the same thing with the 49. Square root that. And that's an easy one. That gives 7. Now, what you need to do to detect or to handle the middle term is you take the square root of both perfect squares and you multiply them and you multiply by 2 one more time. So it looks like this. 2x 
multiply by 7, and multiply by 2 one extra time, thereby giving you 28x. Ah, notice the middle term just popped up in our calculations. This is, in fact, how you detect the middle term. Is it a match? If it is a match, then you've got yourself a perfect square trinomial. If it's not a match, then you do not have a perfect square trinomial, and therefore this technique is not usable. So, before we actually go on to factoring, let's work on the process of detecting whether a certain trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. All right, I'd like you to put an example, ex. Put the following question. Are the following perfect square trinomials? So, I want to repeat, we are actually not factoring yet. I just want to practice um, detecting whether a trinomial is a perfect square trinomial first. So, put question A. Answer the following. Is this particular trinomial a perfect square trinomial? Well, let's go through the detection process. The first term is definitely a perfect square. The third term is also a perfect square. Now it's a middle term that we have to deal with. And we deal with it like this. Square root the first term. So that gives x. Square root the third term. So that gives 3. Multiply the results together. And times 2 a final time. And that get, will give us 6x. Does this match the middle term in our question? Yes, it does. So that makes this a perfect square trinomial. Let's try another one. Put question B. Is the following a perfect square trinomial? 4x squared plus 6x plus 9. Well, let's go through the detection process. The first term is a perfect square. The third term is a perfect square. Now let's handle the middle term. Square root the first term. That gives us 2x. Square root the third term. That gives us 3. Multiply the two results together. And multiply by 2 one last time. And this gives us 12x. Well, is that a match for our middle term? No, it's not. So therefore, no. This is not a perfect square trinomial. All right. I think it's time for you guys to try the detection process on your own. I want you to put example C and give this one a shot. Is this trinomial a perfect square trinomial? 25x squared plus 20x plus 4. Go ahead, pause the video now, and give it a shot. All right, let's see how you guys did. So let's go through the detection process. Square root of 25x squared gives us 5x. Square root of 4 gives us 2. Multiply the two results together. And multiply by 2 one more time. And that gives us 20x. Is it a match? Yes, it is. So that means this is a perfect square trinomial. So how would you guys do? Excellent. All right. Let's get into the actual factoring. Once you've completed the detection process, how do you factor a perfect square trinomial? Well, let's take a look. It's actually very easy. Put example, please. 
Now, suppose I gave you this question. Factor x squared plus 10x plus 25. So, going through the detection process, you should recognize this as an actual perfect square trinomial. And once you do that, the factoring is very, very easy. All you have to do is x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 2. Now we know it came from a binomial being squared. So I'm going to set up my bracket, put the square outside, and let's form the binomial on the inside. Very easy. Take the first term, break it down into the its factors, so that gives you x. Take the third term, break it down into its factors, so when you square root that gives 5, and the sign in the middle matches the sign on the second term. And there you have it. Very, very fast and very clean. Let's check our answer to see if it actually gives back our question. Let's say we were to go back forward. x plus 5, all squared. I'm going to use the identity, which states that the result is x squared. Don't forget the middle term. 5 times x times 2 gives us plus 10x, and then plus 25. Sure enough, take a look. We got back our original question. So, let's check that in action again. Put another example. All right. Um, let's factor this one. Factor x squared minus 14x plus 49. Well, go through the detection process. That should tell you that this is, in fact, a perfect square by trinomial, which allows you to do the following. x squared minus 14x plus 49 equals... Now, I know this is going to come from a binomial being squared. So, let's fill in the bracket. The square root of the first term gives you x. The square root of the third term gives you 7. And you take the sine of the middle term, minus. There we go. Very fast. All right. Let's try one on your own. Why don't you put an example? Now, I want to use this technique to factor the following. Factor 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. All right, pause the video and give it a shot. OK, let's see how you guys did. So first, go through the detection process. The first term is a perfect square. The third term is also a perfect square. And the middle term, does it come from the following? Square root of 4x squared is 2x. And square root of 9y squared is 3y. Multiply them together. And multiply by 2 one last time. And that gives us 12xy. It's a match for the middle term. So this is, in fact, a perfect square trinomial. So to factor it is very easy. It's going to come from binomial being squared. And let's fill it in bracket. Square root of 4x squared is 2x. The square root of 9y squared is 3y. And take the sign of the middle term. Done. Very, very fast. Now, let's try one more. Example. Try to factor the following using this technique. Factor 9x squared minus 15x plus 25. Why don't you pause the video and give it a shot. 
All right, let's see how you guys did. I wonder if you guys noticed that uh, this particular trinomial is not a perfect square trinomial, so it cannot be factored using this technique. Question is, why was it not a perfect square trinomial? Easy. Let's check out the middle term. What should it have been? Well, let's see. Square root of 9x squared is equal to 3x. Square root of 25 is 5. Multiply them together. Multiply by 2 one last time. And that should give you 30x. Clearly, it is not a match. So, how'd you guys do? Excellent. So, that is what we call the perfect square trinomial technique.